Hello everyone, I'm Hestry and this is quick tip number two. Today's topic, training in heavy ships. If you haven't flown a particularly heavy ship before, you may not know that training in them is a real pain. It's slow, it's clunky, and it often requires you to lift up your mess a few times for even a small turn. However, there are a number of tricks that can make this easier. The obvious answer is to simply load up your ship with a bunch of gyroscopes so it can turn faster. However, this isn't always an option. Alternatively, you could set up some scripts to make use of the gyroscope's override controls, but this is not a particularly precise method of controlling your ship. You could also turn with the arrow keys. However, this means you either have to take your hand off the mouse if you're right-handed, or off of your controls if you're left-handed. Not a very appealing option either. So only one method remains, using your mouse to optimally turn your ship. If you didn't know, gyroscopes have a dampening effect that works just like that of thrusters. When gyros aren't applying force to turn your ship, they're applying force to try and stop it, and gyroscopic dampening is incredibly strong. So in short, when you aren't moving your mouse or pushing the Q, E, or the arrow keys, you're going to stop turning in that direction very quickly. This means that if you move your mouse very quickly from one side to the other, the moment you reach the end of that motion, your ship is going to stop turning. So let's do a little demonstration in this ship here. So I'm going to position my mouse on the left side and quickly sweep it to the right. Not a particularly good turn, as you can see. Now I have turned down the power on this gyroscope so that I don't make you sick with this next part. So I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to move the mouse very, very slowly. As you can see, I'm turning quite far, and once the motion stops, the ship stops turning. So again, that was a pretty far turn compared to this, which is what I was doing before. So let's take a look at what happens when we do this in a bigger ship. So let's do the same thing again, this time in the red ship. So here's the quick motion. Quite pitiful, as you can see. And here's a slower motion. much, much more effective. And the reason for this is it takes a little while for the gyroscope to get a ship up to speed when it turns. And if you do a quick motion, the gyro never gets that chance before the dampening kicks in. So here it is again. And my mouse has stopped moving. And as you can see, I still get a little bit of turn. So this means that I now have more of an opportunity to lift up the mouse and reposition it if necessary. So this time, I'm going to lift the mouse up now and do it again. And here it is again. And I can keep turning with pretty smooth motions and get a much, much more effective turn. Absolutely more effective compared to this. So to recap, when you're trying to turn a heavy ship, move the mouse in a long, slow motion, rather than a quick, short one. It's worth noting, however, that this method is not as powerful as using the override settings, but it is much more precise. And, of course, it's very easy to do. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.